One of the problems with these ports for your furnace on the side of your RV is that the holes are big enough that stuff can get in there. So mud daubers, wrens, pretty near anything could get in there and start to live in there. Then we have a problem where the furnace isn't gonna operate correctly because that gets clogged. These screens are available. I've already installed one on the top and that'll protect that port from getting that stuff living in there. Now, before I go any further, I wanna say it's imperative that you check these and you clean them out. We really gotta make sure we have airflow so the furnace is safe. So make sure that on a regular basis, you're making sure that this is clean. So here's the way this baby works. The kit is a screen, a tiny spring, and a spring stretchy gizmachi here. So what they were gonna do is first hook the spring to the inside of the screen and I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers for that. And this is kind of the hardest part of the whole thing is threading everything together here. All right, now let's look at the outside. There's the hook on that spring where it comes through the mesh. Now the way that this installation tool works is that we're gonna go through the mesh through the spring and it's going to engage on this other hook component on the back of the spring. So once I get up against the side of the RV, I can push on this, get that hook behind the center point on the port, and that's what's going to hold everything in place. And I'm just making sure now that the hook part of the hook, where that end L's over, is actually engaged right there there now that spring tension will hold that screen on there so the wrens and the mud daubers can't get in there and make nests that plug up your ports don't forget clean these screens on a regular basis to make sure your furnace stays safe